This tutorial explains how to draw predicted versus actual values in a plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 1 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing which is called data. And if you click on this data object, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data set. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns, which are called X and Y. And both of these columns contain random numeric values. Now, if we want to estimate a model based on these data, we can apply the LM function, as you can see in line six of the code. And within the LM function, we need to specify our predictor variable. So in this case, our predictor variable is called X. And we need to specify our target variable. So in this case, our target variable is called Y. And then we also need to specify the name of our data set. And we need to store the output of the LM function in a new model object, which we call MyMod. So if we run line six of the code, you can see that at the top right of RStudio, a new model object is appearing, which is called MyMod. And in the next step in lines eight to 15 of the code, we can draw these data in a base R plot. So in line eight of the code, I'm first specifying the plot function. And within the plot function, I'm specifying that I want to apply the predict function to our model object. And then I'm also specifying that I want to draw the Y values, so the target variable of our data. And I'm specifying the XLab and YLab arguments to be equal to predicted values and to observed values. So if you run lines 8 to 11 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of our studio that a new scatter plot is appearing, which is drawing the predicted values versus the observed values in our data. In addition to that, we can also use the AB line function to draw a red line on top of this plot that indicates the relationship between these two variables. So if you run lines 12 to 15 of the code, you can see that a red line is added on top of our scatter plot. And this red line is showing the relationship between the predicted and observed values. So in this first example, I have explained how to use base R to draw a plot of predicted versus actual values. However, it's also possible to use the ggplot2 package to draw such a plot. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 17 of the code. So in lines 17 and 18 of the code, I'm first installing and loading the ggplot2 package. I have installed this package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 18 of the code. So after running this line of code, we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package. However, before we can draw our plot, we first need to create another data frame, as you can see in lines 20 and 21. So in these lines of code, I'm using the data frame function. And within this function, I'm creating a new variable, which is called predicted. And this variable contains the predicted values based on our model object, myMod that we have created in line six of the code. And then we create another variable, which is called observed. And this variable contains the Y variable of our input data. And then we are storing the output of this in a new data frame object, which is called data mod. So if you run lines 20 and 21 of the code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data mod. And we can use this data frame object to draw a ggplot2 plot of predicted versus observed values, as you can see in lines 23 to 30 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using the ggplot function and the gm point function to create a scatter plot. And then I'm also using the geom ab line function to add a red line on top of this plot, as you can already see in our plot that we have created in the first example. So if you run lines 23 to 30 of the code, you can see that another plot is created at the bottom right, which is showing a ggplot2 scatter plot of predicted versus observed values and a red line on top of this plot. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. 
In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.